I keep a sketchbook. Um, I, I have a huge box full by now. I don't know what's going to happen if I keep it up like this. But I have to draw all the time. Um, I jot things down when I hear them. Um, I sketch. I make notes. And I, ref I refer to it later. Um, this is a, a sketch here. Just waiting for that perfect brush stroke to come, come through me. So I, sometimes I just draw myself. Um, there's a number of scratchy, scratch, you know, all sorts of things going on here. Sometimes I brush draw or use the brush and gesso to, to draw. Um, here's a, uh, just a little example of kind of working with some dancers that are moving. Um, I might have seen them, you know, in a performance or on television and just wanted to get that mark making so I could suggest the movement. Um, Sometimes I work with color just to get the idea of, you know, complementary color combinations. Um, I'm very interested in orange and blue. I think that's my favorite color combination. And, you know, some, some gestural figures here, um, contemplating the next move again. Just, I mean, we always have ourselves to draw, so I, I revert to that every now and then just as an exercise. Here's another one. The cat, cat comes walking in, I'll make sketches of that. This is, you know, again, working with, I work with watercolor and ink wash just to kind of play with adding a little color, but mostly I draw in black and white and jot things down. Um, these uh, drawings, I was just trying to get a, a feeling of, you know, a, atmosphere. This is supposedly a windless, hot, windless atmosphere. And this was a hurricane or windstorm. And I think these things, uh, you know, this is a little bit where I'm headed with my new, new work. It's just the, the actual energy of things. Uh, you know, it just seems to be, um, you know, be wide open to me. Here's some more, um, you know, just how figures might work into a a picture plane, um, you know, this was in, I just looked out my window and there's that table, okay, I'll draw that. It's kind of a thread to the creative process to, for me to draw and, um, you know, there's always something to draw because it's really about seeing. I, when I taught drawing here, it was just like, it's all about seeing, you know, because there's, there's ideas everywhere, there's images everywhere. <clears throat> And I think in terms of, um, you know, continuing to enjoy making pictures, um, it, it's, I need the border. I need a framework in which to put my imagery. I'm interested in pictures and drawing. And um, so, you know, working in free form with materials, I would know where to end. You know, I need that end stop uh, to create my, my pictures. Um, you know, working from still lives, you know, trying to get, I had a fan blowing on some fabric, wanted to see how the, the motion would look, and, um, you know, worked with that a little bit, and um, rope, I'm kind of interested in um, a lot of line and twisting, and, um, you know, it'll, my new work, by the way, is being shown um, at the Sandy Erickson Gallery in Healdsburg. And so she's showing some of my newer work, which, um, you know, is really about lines, shapes, and forms interacting um, in a very energy-rich kind of painting. This is an example of the figures I was talking about. Um, this is an invitation for my um, undergraduate show from Alfred. Of course, I called it Dancer 5. And um, again, I wanted to have figures m moving and, you know, an energy and uh, spaces, shapes. And I made each one of these out of clay. And I was more interested in the glazes, just slapping on colors. I would go into the glaze room and mix up all these colors. And it just kind of it was like cooking. And I would spray it on. It was all low fire ceramics. And then I had to learn to weld, as I said earlier, and put these things all together on the wall. And then I included 
some, this is charcoal on paper here, to sort of create, um, you know, either a, um, you know, the history of where this dancer had moved or a shadow or, and so these are heavy pieces of clay hanging out, you know, so I had to deal with real gravity. But um, I just found this, and uh, I thought it might be interesting to include, um, like my teacher Tony Heppard said, why are you doing these in clay? <laughs> and so, you know, I'm very happy that, um, you know, I've, I've sort of liberated myself, and I can have endless possibilities working on canvas.